Hey YouTube, so getting my morning video in, um, I obviously um, have that found a way to combine um, videos and not have to do multiple ones throughout the day. So while I journal, journal this for you, I can actually just journal like daily and then get it put up for you. So um, a couple of things I wanted to go over and um, one of them is I'm super congested today. It's pretty bad. So uh, my son um, loves essential oils and I actually have um, a, a whole sale account through Young Living Essential Oils, but I ran out of peppermint. So my son had some peppermint. So I've been running um, a peppermint in the diffuser right here at my desk to kind of help. And, I, and I'll tell you, it has helped tremendously. So I'm going to be getting some more oils. And I think I'm going to be maybe possibly making a switch over to doTERRA because they have some oil mixtures um, that I like better than Young Living if that makes any sense. So I'm gonna do a little bit of research. Um, so anyway, I'm really congested. My voice is really hoarse again today. I know that um, it's been really, really, really windy outside. Um, allergies are bad. My granddaughter's got them. My son's got a sore throat from them right now. Thing is, is I don't like to take, um, I really don't like to take medicine. Um, I like taking natural stuff and I did buy I bought this stuff yesterday. Um, it's bee pollen, which I just forgot to take today. I don't know, I'm supposed to take it like three times a day. Take one tablet or more preferably daily with meals. So um, like, yeah, you could do more. You could probably do two at a time. I'm actually gonna do that today because it's so bad outside. Um, the problem is, is my allergies are worse when it's windy and the dirt's blowing. And so this is from California, so I don't know if it's really going to help me too much. The only reason I was able to get this is because um, Kingman opened up a, a new place here called Nutrition One. And um, they're from California. And so they imported some of their products from California. So that's why I got it. I'm going to use it, utilize it for sure, make sure, see if it works. Now I do know that we have a local bee pollen place here in town um, that will be the farm, I guess is what it's called, that will make them. Now, the reason that I don't do local honey is because I am um, ketogenic. I try to stay on a ketogenic diet and you're not supposed to have sugar. And, and even though honey is natural, it turns to sugar. So it's kind of a no-no for the keto. I might just be switching over to Whole Foods though, or like a Whole30 or a Paleo, which I believe would allow it. But I kind of mix actually because I'm not, I'm not 100% keto, so I don't want to really confuse you there. Um, and so anyway, uh, let me see. So I was crying for a minute earlier. Last night, I didn't make another video because my kids were awake and it was loud. But I totally should have because I got like that high feeling. I don't know how to explain it. It was like a runner's high that I got just like my endorphins were going. And um, I don't know. I as I ended up staying up until like 1.30 in the morning working. And then today I'm exhausted. And um, so, yeah. Um, I'm starting to get the more energy, I think. Um but it's still, you know, especially when I wake up in the morning and later in the days when it's really just through here, I can feel it, you know, it's starting to, to kind of do what the body's supposed to do. So um, anyway, I just wanted to check in with you guys and uh, yeah, so exciting news there. Um, let me see. Other than the horse voice, which I think is allergies, and I still have some blood when I blow my nose, but you can tell that it's from my nose. And the inside of my nose is super dry. So if anybody who watches this video has an idea of what I can do to help moisturize my nasal passage, that would be fantastic because this side's really the worst. Um, yeah, 
I think that's all for now. So we'll see how the rest of the day goes. Um, I'm still pretty up and down. Um, one thing I didn't tell everyone, I'm going to give you a timeline, okay? So April 20th, I quit buying cigarettes. Um, but I was smoking four to six a day. And how I was doing that was because I have friends who smoke. So I would go, hey, I'm going to get, I, let me bum a cigarette, right? Or I would go buy a cigarette or two from the little um, convenience store up the street from the clerk. And um, I would do that. And then um, I bought a pack of cigars. Those lasted probably four days. So I was still smoking, right? And that went on until mm, probably right around the 20, I should have been documenting all this, but I didn't. Um, uh, so that went on until probably around the 24th or 25th. And then, um, uh, then I went to the Laughlin River Run with my friend Ginger and I had like four beers and I ended up smoking. That was on the 29th of April and I smoked all night. And then on Sunday, I was still smoking. Okay, so Sunday and then April 30th and then May 1st, which was a Monday, right? Let me check my calendar. I'm pretty sure it was. Because I really am trying to get this down because I do want to journal it. So no. Monday that was April, was April 30th. So... On Saturday, April 29th, no, Saturday, April 28th, and Sunday, April 29th, I smoked like a normal smoker. So, I mean, not like a full pack. I didn't have a full pack by no means. I haven't had a full pack of cigarettes since the beginning of April. Um, I went to like a full pack down to like half a pack. To, yeah, I bounced. Anyway, um, so I smoked like a normal, you know, I probably had... A shitload of them on Saturday night the 28th and then on Sunday the 29th I had probably five or six of them and then um, that was it and then so I went from Monday the 30th to Friday the 4th with no cigarettes and very little on my vape and on the 4th I had two because I went out with some friends and had some beers and had two cigarettes. So obviously drinking is my trigger. Um, and then I haven't had any since that day. So that was the fourth. That was last Friday. Today is Friday. So technically it has been officially one week today that I've actually had a cigarette. Although I don't count slip ups. As long as I slip and then go right back to it, I've not been necessarily counting those as no smoking days, I guess. Um, and I can't 100% say that I'm non-smoking because I do have a vape, but it only has three milligrams in it. And I don't really hit it very much. And a vape's better than cigarettes, regardless. I don't care who you are. It's better. So I have no desire to smoke. Um, a friend was over this morning and had a cigarette outside on my porch and I was like, oh, you stink, go away. I don't want nothing to do with it, it's disgusting. I got my uh, eyelashes done the other day and the girl is a smoker and I could I could smell it on her hands, just a stale smell. Um, so my smell's coming back. So let's call it day seven, okay? Just day seven from no cigarettes because that's technically, even though I only had two, but I'm going to call it day seven. So my, my, my smell is coming back. I feel, I believe that I feel like I could breathe better. I almost don't know because I don't remember what it was starting to feel like. I just remember that I was starting to feel that ugh, of being a smoker. Like I was able to just have that heaviness, I guess. Um, I forget things very easily. So, um, my fingers, look, I don't have, like, the yellow, the yellow starting to go away. The yellow on the fingertips of smoking, that's starting to go away. My nose peeled, which was really weird. My lips are pinker than they were. 
Um, my eyes are clearer. My skin is clearer. Um, I'm still going through detox. I can kind of feel, you know, like a little swollen. I'm looking for um, some things Dr. Berg suggested to help detox stuff. And I'm looking into possibly doing a lymph node detox to really flush my system. So that's my plan and obviously I'll keep you guys updated on it. Um, my teeth are whiter, which is awesome. Um, I have this one here. I'm gonna get a bleach cap, not really, but I'm gonna do the charcoal thing actually. I'm gonna order it probably in a couple of weeks. But um, So I just wanted to give you guys an update of you know, there's a lot that we go through. Like, I had the hot sweats. I was sweating like crazy. I I didn't really get insomnia, but I'm getting, I'm dreaming. I am dreaming, okay? And I know that my YouTube followers and my YouTube community doesn't know me. Um, six years ago, a lot, of, a lot of devastation happened in my life, and I quit dreaming. And I'm dreaming again. I've had three dreams this week, and that is so excited that I'm going to cry. Oh, oh my God. See, I, and I'm still emotional. Everything makes me cry right now. Um, so yeah, so there's that. Um, let me see. I wrote down like a list of, um, let me see, uh, da, 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 all symptoms. So you get sweating, you get the sweats, you get IBS, you get really bad gas pains that go from like your lower abdomen shooting all the way clear up into your clavicle. It's crazy. I did not get headaches. Um, most people do. Um, but I, I, I think it's because of that liquid chlorophyll that I take. Um, and I'll put the link for that below. Uh, you get coffee, nasty, drunk stuff coming out, which has been happening to me probably two weeks now. Um, it feels longer. Like, I really don't know why. It's not even been a month since I ultimately started to try to quit smoking, which was around the 20th of April. So it's not even been a month. I'm still a few days away from that. But it feels like it's been years because this hoarse voice is driving me crazy and all of the crap coming out. Um, so it just feels like it's been a long time. And it hasn't really been. It's been probably two weeks for that. Um, and then you get... Uh, Sometimes like I'm getting the blood in my in my not in my in my mucus a little bit. I'm even sometimes sometimes getting a little bit of it um when I'm coughing out some of that stuff, which is scaring me, uh, because that isn't normal. But it could also be because my gum started bleeding and it's draining and it could be for my nose draining because it's not a lot. It's very faint. Um I'm not coughing up black tarry stuff. Uh, it's just dark green. It's 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 weird. It's a weird color. It's not like a cold color, but um, tingling and numb. Um, that really hasn't happened to me a whole lot. Um, now, mind you, I've taken some of these symptoms from groups and forums that I'm in of other people, what other people have experienced too, because I'm trying to make these videos to help anybody trying to quit, but my experience is going to be so different than yours. Everybody's is different. So I'm taking all of this um, from everything that I, that I belong to as far as quitting smoking, and I'm kind of consolidating it into this, you know, um, playlist for you guys, because I really want to be able to help so um so a lot of people get tingling and numbness like through their hands and their feet um you get hot and cold flashes which i did get you get cold like symptoms which is very true so when i first started i was really really tired last week all i wanted to do was sleep and i couldn't figure out why well when you smoke you put glucose into your system because cigarettes have sugar and you can use cigarettes for energy, um, as weird as that is, right? Uh, and it shouldn't be like that. Like it really, it really shouldn't. But it, but it is. That's a true fact. Um, look it up. So it puts glucose into your body. And when you stop smoking, when you stop smoking, sorry about that. I had a phone call come in. You when you stop smoking, um, you lose that that glucose for the energy, and so you get like a crash. And so I've been really, really, really tired. Um, until this week, I'm doing better. 
but I'm still not back on a regular sleeping schedule. So I'm really working, really hardly work, really working on that hard. Um, the um, insomnia, I wasn't able to sleep last night. More emotional. Here we go. You guys see me. I've cried every day. Um, what else did I miss? Anything? Anxiety. So if you have anxiety like I do, this is going to be hard. Um, I suggest going to your doctor and getting a very small amount of anti-anxiety medication because for some people, when you have anxiety and you smoke, it calms you down. For me, if I have anxiety and I smoke, it makes it worse. So, my problem is, is I have full-blown panic attacks. And so my blood pressure skyrockets. My heart rate hits 160 beats a minute. Okay, so I have a lot of physical things happening when I'm having a panic attack. So I'm ta I do take medication when it's happening. I try not to, but through this next week or two, I'm not going to push myself through it. I usually can push myself through them. Um, and they were gone until I stopped smoking. I just wrote a blog post about how my anxiety and my panic attacks went away when I started getting into ketosis, which I knew I was in ketosis because I monitor it through um, urine test strips. But since I quit smoking, it's kind of came back like tenfold. It's pretty intense. Um, the only thing I'm going to tell you is if you are medicated or have a PRN, for um, anxiety and you're trying to quit when you take that medicine it's going to relax you so much I don't want to use the word relax it's gonna create something like it makes me want to smoke does that make sense um, when I had my first attack three four days ago and I took a pill for it I really really wanted a cigarette Okay, well, I've had to take a pill every day for the last few days because I'm waking up anxious. And if I'm not taking it, then I'm, I'm having a horrible... I had to call 911 for one. I'm pretty sure I told you guys that in the video. It was pretty bad. So I'm not going to get to that point again. I will get through it, and then I will come back off of them because I've had anxiety since I was 17 years old, so I know how to do this. But if you don't, please see your doctor so that you can be monitored and, and, and help to have somebody help you. Um, just know a panic attack won't kill you. It just sucks. And if you can't get it under control, then you get insomnia and you can't sleep and you think you're going to die and it's bad. I understand. And so many people don't. And it's like a taboo subject. Of, oh my God, don't talk mental health. Well, guess what fuckers? We have mental health. Okay. Um, I also suggest going out and getting, um, this stuff right here, I just got it at Walmart. Okay, or not, no, where did I, I got it at Walgreens actually. Can you see it? So it's a melatonin plus it has the 5-HTP in it. So 5-HTP is a proven supplement to help with anxiety because it calms the mind. So usually I take 5-HTP on a daily basis but it's not been it's not been working because my withdrawals have been so bad. So, um, and then let me see. I think I've got everything covered for now today. Right now that I wanted to get covered. So, um, if you guys have any questions, drop comments below. Let me know. I will do my best to answer it or find information on it for you. If I don't have information. Um, I will drop links below. Some are affiliates, some are not to like this stuff. You could probably order it at walgreens.com. I won't make any money off that. But if you don't want, you know, some people have anxiety to the point where they don't want to leave their house. So I get it. So um, I'll put links to that. I'll put some links to some peppermint oils, um, to bee pollen. Um, for allergies, if you have allergies, but also bee pollen just kind of helps to open up airways a little bit as well. So that will help you some with decongestion of the not smoking. Um, and yeah. Oh, and another thing that I, that I use, and I got this at the natural health food store down the street from my house. 
I'm going to turn that off for a minute. It's called Collodial Silver. And um, it is a, well, it's Sorvin Silver is what this is called. Um, it's immune support. It's bioactive silver hydrosol. So it's not really Collodial Silver, but it's very similar. Um it's 99.9999% pure silver. So if this was a DNA test, it I would be your kid. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, and you can take up to 10 sprays a day. It is a nasal spray. And that does help. And it is an, it, it is an immune support. So I think that is it. Now I have two videos that I have to merge together because this one got interrupted. Um, let me see. Yeah, I think that's good. So... Again, thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. And if you know somebody who is trying to quit or somebody who wants to quit and hasn't been able to quit, please share my videos with them because ultimately that is what I want to do to try to help get this out there for everybody to help people quit smoking. This is, it's a terrible academic. Um, I'm going to be a horrible non-smoker and I'm probably going to be somebody who preaches to all of these smokers at least for the first six months to a year who knows I don't know maybe after that I'll chill out but quit it's not good for you um it's not good what it does to our bodies it's horrible and unfortunately so many of us start you know and we never think that we're gonna smoke as long as we do well I smoked 26 years you guys I started when I was 15 years old just to piss off my mom and I never thought I would be a lifelong I never thought I was gonna be a lifelong smoker Right? I didn't. I But I was raised with it. You know, my stepdad smoked in the house. Like, I don't know. You know? So, uh, just think about what you're doing. Um, I don't want to preach at you too much because you'll quit when you're ready. You can only quit when you know how. But if you have help and support or you have an outlet to talk about it, that helps for me anyway. So, Anyway, um, thanks for watching. I will probably have different weird random things happen through the day and I'll make another video and get it out there for y'all. So have a great day and give me a thumbs up, please. Thanks. So I'm on my way to the gym, but I really just had something I wanted to mention. So I've been fighting with this hoarse voice and all this massive congestion and sinus drainage and you name it, all this gross shit, right? So it's really bad today because my ear was hurting and it needed to pop. So I knew I needed to go give in and go get some allergy medicine. So I did and sure as shit, my voice is better. My ear is better. I'm not as stuffy and sniffly. But my wondering here is my allergies have not been this bad in like... 10 years so is it possible that smoking covered up my allergies a little bit um I don't think that that would be possible but my allergies literally have not been this bad in years you guys so I don't know maybe it's because I'm getting older and I know allergies can get worse but I don't know really strange like my voice doesn't have that hor it's weird I don't know I bought Flonies I got some cough drops and I got Claritin so I like double whammied myself anyway I just thought that was odd so I wanted to mention it and see what y'all think let me know hey everybody so I just did about an hour at the gym um just got home and I did about 15 minutes on the treadmill like I don't know four miles well 3.5 um, miles an hour at an incline of three and a half or four uh, then I did supersets of squats um, t-bar rows and um, bench press and then I did side twists, and then I did another 15 minutes, and I did it on the tall bike. And this is the first time that I have been to the gym since I've had zero cigarettes. But it's 
the third time in the last two weeks, um, which I've only had in the last two weeks, I've, I've had one, two cigarettes, but, um, I feel really nauseous. I never feel nauseous when I work out. And I just noticed I have like a lot more mucus production. I smell weird and um, I sweated a lot more than usual. So I'm guessing it's toxins being pushed out. So I just wanted to give you that quick update. I'll talk to you guys later.